Okay, so this is the front panel. If you guys want to remove the panel, it's the same process for this baby. Uh, we're gonna first of all, we're gonna pop open this little cover down there. So that cover, you need something sharp, flathead screwdriver or a pick, and that cover will eventually come off somehow, some way. And we don't want to go. This is the little slot they give us right here. You are gonna scratch it a bit, so take it easy. Go easy on it, but holy cow. What the hell? Yeah, there you go. So, once you take that off, you're gonna have access to that 10 millimeter, or you could use a Phillips head screwdriver. But also, we need to take off this little guy right here. There's a couple of screws behind it. So let's get this going off. So I usually start from the bottom because you don't want to mess up the top. So you start from the bottom first. And let's see if you can get this handle out of here. Come on, little guy. There you go. So work your way with the screwdriver and get this guy off. If you break it, you're going to have to buy a new one. But use the proper tool, take your time and go easy. And this guy comes off. So it has like a lot of retainers, retainers, retainers that's hooking onto this. And uh, these little clips right there. But that's that. Now we're gonna pop open this switch right here. And let's see what's behind this switch. It's gotta be a screw behind this switch. Okay, there you go, work your way from the back here too, there you go, again take it easy and there's your screw right there, 10 millimeter and a 10 millimeter, you're going to disconnect this little guy, alright All right, so we're going to disconnect this little guy right here, hands are cold, Take this switch off, two connectors, both of them will come off just by pushing these little tabs in and pull them out. There you go, it's coming out. There you go, there you go. So, we can let this in there and now we're going to come back and remove the two bolts. Alright, so, we're going to take out this 10 millimeter down here. You can use it. You can use a fill up hash screwdriver if you like, or a 10 millimeter socket. Here's the second one. And after that, if I didn't miss anything, we should be able to pop this. And I'm gonna grab this guy and just yank it all the way. Okay. All right, I missed something. There's one more 10 millimeter right here. There's one more 10 millimeter right there, okay? Couldn't even see that little guy. So that's what that long one looked like. So there's a long one there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put everything back together. So that's how you're gonna replace, uh, remove your panel and check out your door handle problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this thing lined up properly first. And then uh Smack, 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 smack the whole door. All you want. And we got a long bolt here for so this little guy. Goes in right there. This 10 millimeter I took off from right here. It's a silver looking one. Goes right here. Okay, and then there was one more. One more here. This brownish looking one goes right in the center here. And this baby. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably get an extension. Never mind. That's good enough. Okay, so now we're gonna plug in this switch. Do not forget to plug in the switch. How does this go? Okay, this goes in this way. Click. Click. And the 
switch. Okay. Did I get that? Okay, no, it's this way. There you go. Click, click. Everything is a click. And this is the other guy. I'm gonna get this side in first. And I'm gonna smack the whole cover in. And where did I put that letter cover that goes here? So this letter guy has two little hooks in the back. So these hooks go in and it clicks right in. 